Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I have a project today for the Just Nick Digital Cut File Shop design team, and I'm going to be using this really awesome cut file here called Floral Burst. And I'm going to start off with a piece of basil marshmallow cardstock on my desk here. And I've cut these cut files six times. So I've got two uh, exactly the same size cut in um, sour grape and white cardstock, and then a smaller uh, cut file cut in some white and sour grape as well. Now I'm going to adhere those cut files together with a little bit of foam adhesive and kind of place them on my basil cardstock in the areas where you see them there. I'm just taking a pencil and I'm marking out where I want those to be placed on my paper and I'm going to do a little bit of mixed media here. So my basil marshmallow cardstock has been prepped with some Prima um, transparent gesso. And I'm working with some Lindy's Magicals uh, product here. So I'm just uh, creating a bit of a watercolor for my mixed media today. So I'm using some Magicals in Raspberry Lemonade and Pop Rock Purple. And the Raspberry Lemonade is that really bright fuchsia color. And then the Pop Rock Purple is the other color. So I'm mostly going to be using the purple, but I'm going to do a little bit with the pink as well because I'm using primarily pinks and purples here on this project. I apologize for my voice today. I've been really sick for the last couple of weeks. Um, I am sucking on a cough candy so that I'm not having a coughing fit in your ear. So hopefully that's not too annoying. So what I did was I just spritzed a bit of water on my cardstock and then I put the pigment onto the paper with my brush. And now I'm just taking my um, heat tool and I'm just moving that pigment around in that circular area where my cut file is going to go. So I just wanted there to be a little bit of mixed media as kind of like a little mat for my cut files as a little place for my cut files to sit. And I want to just do a little bit of splattering around there and just do some some really pretty little bits of color in the pink and purple. The sweater that my great niece is wearing in the picture is purple. There's a little bit of uh, blue and pink in her sweater as well. And it just matches perfectly with the uh, products that I'm going to be using here today for my layout. So you can see I'm just splattering some of that brighter pink in there, trying to work that into this mixed media area as well. And I just really like um, using my heat tool to help with this process because it just allows you to have a little bit more control over where the pigment pools and is darker and then lighter. So I'm going to do that exact same process in the two other areas on my paper here. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I think you'll get the picture after watching it here for a little bit more. Um, you'll get the idea of how you might want to do this. I will make sure to link the products I'm using in the description box below so that if you do want to use this technique, you can find the products and um, grab them if you would like to go ahead and try this method. It's actually pretty easy and I think it just is a really cool look. Um, I really like it. So I'm just going to let that dry and now what I'm doing is I'm using some Nouveau embellishment mousse and my Vicky Booten stencil brush. This is also a Vicky Booten stencil from the Let's Wander collection. It's one of the stencils in the pack that has the stars on the front of the packaging. And I'm just using that mousse in kind of a lilac color, so just a really light purple. And it is a really pretty metallic, so it just is really shiny on the layout. And I'm just going to do it kind of over to the side of my area where I'm planning on putting the embellishments that are going to go kind of around my pictures. So I'm just going to um, gently put that on there. This is a really neat product to work with, and Vicky Stencil Brush is just the perfect way to apply this. Um, really cleaned, uh, the brush really cleaned up easily with the baby wipe and it was just super easy process. Now what I'm doing is taking a little bit of craft foam and I've adhered that to the back of my cut file and I'm going to um, glue that down with some liquid adhesive onto all of that mixed media. So I'm going to do that with all three of the bottom cut files for each of those three groupings. and. It's really important to use a little bit of liquid adhesive on top of that mixed media because um, otherwise 
the uh, adhesive just won't stick. I'm taking my little clear paperweights and putting them on top of there until that's stuck. Now that that's all stuck down, I'm ready to work with my photos. So these photos were printed at two by two. They're just little cute little square photos that fit nicely on those cut files. I'm going to pop each of those two cut files or those photos up on a little bit of foam adhesive and then mat them on more of that sour grape basil cardstock. That's the same cardstock that I cut the, um, the cut file from that's on the bottom of the, the cut file groupings or pairs, I should say. And I'm just going to stick those photos down on top of the cut files. And that top cut file is going to be a place just for some embellishing. I did have more than two pictures, um, but I decided just to go with two and then use that top cut file as a spot for just some more embellishments. I love these photos. They're so sweet. She's just the sweetest little girl. I had so much fun scrapping these photos of her. So my plan was to map the whole layout on that Pink Fresh Studio um, fuchsia and light pink paper and I think that's from the Noteworthy collection and then all of the embellishments that I'm using here are from Noteworthy and they're also from Paige Evans Bloom, Bloom Street and I'm just going to take little bits of the die cuts and add them with foam adhesive and liquid adhesive to each of those three little cluster areas and I'm trying to keep the embellishing kind of to the area where that um Nouveau embellishment mousse has been stenciled on. So that's just sort of like a, a, a placeholder kind of for the embellishments. And the bottom layers I'm just sticking on with some uh, liquid adhesive so that they'll stick to that mixed media and then anything layered on top of that I'll just put down with some foam adhesive to give it a little bit of lift and dimension on the layout. So that little, I love those little pink fresh die cut stamps. That one at the bottom there says, what a time to be alive. And then the one up top says, hello. And that's actually going to be part of the title as well. Love the colors in these Bloom Street die cut pieces. They're so pretty. And really match the, the colors that I'm going for here in the layout. So I didn't mind if there's a little bit of green mixed in here. I think it looks really nice with the pinks and purples. And each one of those little cluster areas has a little bit of green in it. This is just another little piece of ephemera from the um, Noteworthy die cut pack. And just reaching for some of the other little bits and pieces that I want to stick in here. I'm trying to add some of the same colors to each of the three clusters um, to keep them kind of symmetrical in the color scheme. So each cluster has some of the pink, some of the purple, and some of the green. And the green is just a really pretty spring, you know, like new growth green. I love that. I think it's really super pretty. The color palette in the Bloom Street collection is just gorgeous. I totally love it. Lots of purples, really bringing the purple back. <laughs> which I love. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And it's perfect too, like I said, because Adriana's little sweater has is kind of a fuchsia color and then it's the front of it has pom-poms that are pink and kind of like a baby blue and purple. So really sweet, perfect for, for the color scheme that I wanted to do here. Now this is from uh, Pink Fresh Studio, my favorite story, I think, the um, large phrase stickers. And so I'm going to use that for the word cute. So, so far, hello, cute is the title. And then I'm going to use the, I think these are pink fresh mini alphas to spell out the word Adriana. So hello, cute Adriana is going to be the title. I'm also going to just add a few enamel dots to the layout as well. And the layout's pretty much going to be finished. I'm not going to do a whole lot else to it. Other than I do add some stitching with my sewing machine around the outside edge of that white paper. And that actually does a couple of things. It flattens the paper out. So if you've got any buckling from mixed media, this is a really great tip. One way to make your paper or your page lay flat is to add some sewing around the outside edge. See how it's, it's just stitched right by that white line. And then now it's just super flat. It's just nice and flat and, and perfect. 
So I really had fun working with this floral burst cut file. Uh, make sure that you check the links in the description box below to Nicole's cut file shop. I have, I will link up to the products that I used as well today. So make sure you check that out. I'm just showing you here a logical spot where journaling can go for the layout as well. So that if you did want to scrap lift this layout, that's a an option for where you could put your journaling. I do have some still shots if you want to watch all the way to the end. I think I have something like six photos of close-ups of the layout. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you back here another time. Bye-bye.